reverberation that is reverberation and reverberation time now i am going to explain about absorption coefficient sound absorption coefficient absorption coefficient or you can alternatively it is called as noise reduction coefficient absorption coefficient or noise reduction coefficient so usually its value, the value of absorption coefficient or noise reduction coefficient will be from 0 to 1. So, minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 1. So, minimum 0 means absorption coefficient, sound absorption coefficient or acoustic absorption coefficient is zero means all the incident sound energy on any obstacle is simply reflected back for example If it is a concrete concrete wall and sound uh, assume sound the energy falls on it falls on it since its uh, absorption coefficient is around 0.02 very small value, its value is 0 0.02. So, most of the sound energy is reflected back, reflected back, only little portion may be absorbed. Suppose I am going to use any wood I'm going to cover the concrete concrete wall with wood or any foam like material any foam like material because either wood or foam like material has uh, absorption coefficient of around 0.8 to 0.9 its absorption coefficient so it is very high so it means in such situation most of the sound energy incident on the wall covered with the wool will be it will be most of the sound will be absorbed so only little sound is sound energy is trans, uh, reflected so most of the sound energy is either absorbed or transmitted either transmitted or So, absorption coefficient, if absorption coefficient is high means, that is around 0.8 to 0.9 means, such materials absorb the incident sound maximum. Most of the sound is absorbed. So, after absorption, the atoms and molecules of the uh, absorbing material vibrate in such a way undergoes friction, uh, friction 
and finally the sound energy absorbed is being dissipated as heat okay suppose if uh, sound energy very less sound energy is absorbed by uh, if the uh, absorption coefficient or noise reduction coefficient is minimum means most of the sound energy is reflected back so most of the sound energy is absorbed means it is dissipated as heat and only little energy sound energy is reflected so by means of absorption coefficient sound energy is lost or dissipated by means of conversion of sound into heat so in what is the importance of absorption coefficient see it is a acoustic uh, proper of acoustic property there are so many acoustic properties like uh, starting from uh, uh, reflection reflection noise reduction coefficient or absorption absorption coefficient and uh, reverberation 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 For example, these are the some of the major or important uh, acoustic parameters. So these parameters are very important in designing auditorium. Designing auditorium or and all or cinema theater cinema theater okay. so there is a formula before going to see how to design an auditorium there is a formula for absorption coefficient that is absorption coefficient coefficient is equal to intensity of sound intensity of absorbed sound incident sound intensity of incident sound so i suffix a absorbed i suffix i so in this case there is no unit because unit for intensity of sound is what per meter square whereas for uh, absorption coefficient or noise reduction coefficient m or c the equation is i suffix a divided by i suffix i so its value ranges from as i already told 0 to 0 to 1 so it will be different for different materials 
For example, in the case of uh, tile, it will be around 0.03. For concrete, it is around 0.02. Absorption coefficient is 0.02. For snow, Because snow is a uh, foam like my foam like uh, substance, so its absorption coefficient is around 0.75. Whereas in the case of uh, gypsum, slabs it is around 0.9 so different materials for wood it is uh, point 0.8 wood at the carpet based on uh, wood it is around point So in designing auditorium, you must know the materials absorption, uh, absorption coefficient. So based on that one, you can able to design an ideal auditorium, which is having negligible noise. And uh, negligible noise means our minimum noise, ideal auditorium means minimum noise, it means reverberation reverberation time must be small, very small and noise reduction coefficient it is also max it is maximum so one should design uh, or one should optimize the required values of reverberation time and uh, uh, noise reduction uh, coefficient for the particular uh, volume of uh, auditorium or the capacity of the auditorium or convention hall. Okay. It is, for example, in the case of cinema theatre, cinema theatre, reverberation time should be around one second. Whereas for a convention hall, convention hall, reverberation time will be around three seconds. So, what is the necessity of for uh, three seconds? What is the need for this difference? Is in the case of cinema theater, one second is enough. If it exceeds one second, means then uh, there is a chance for noise. There is a the reflected sound energy takes uh, more time to decay even when the next sequence of sound is reached. Okay. Whereas in the case of uh, um, convention hall, three seconds of uh, reverberation time is mandatory in order to reach the sound or in order to reach the sound to the lost seated person. So, one should optimize uh, the values of reverberation time and uh, noise reduction uh, coefficient or absorption coefficient by uh, incorporating materials, different materials to the different segments of the auditorium as well as convention hall or also uh, cinema theatre.
I am going to tell you one, only one example uh, for a, based on a hall. Huh? Suppose if you want to design a hall with uh, good acoustic properties, um, equation is that is uh, absorption coefficient. As you know, alpha it will be high by. Sound absorption A equal to sigma uh, alpha pho equal plus absorption coefficient. Ceiling into area of the ceiling. Plus absorption coefficient of walls into area of the walls. So suppose if you want to calculate sound absorption of the of the hall, it means so you have to sum up absorption coefficient of uh, the flooring and absorption coefficient of uh, ceiling and absorption coefficient of uh, side walls. So it will be automatically uh, multiplied with the corresponding uh, areas. So absorb uh, area of the flooring, area of the ceiling and area of the side walls. Suppose imagine uh, flooring, flooring is made up of uh, carpet based on wooden, uh, wool, based on wool carpet if it is made and its absorption coefficient is around 0.8. So, 0 0.8 into area, maybe around 10 meters squared. Okay. Plus, suppose if the fall ceiling is made up of, uh, fall ceiling is made up of gypsum to reduce noise, gypsum, gypsum slabs then its uh, absorption coefficient or noise reduction coefficient is around 0 0.9 then it will be 0 0.9 into 10 meter square plus side walls and side walls are made up of uh, any fiber materials based on wooden material means and in this in that case its absorption coefficient may be around 0.03 so 0.03 into area maybe 40 since it is side wall 40 meters square now the final value may be around absorption coefficient for the particular hall which is uh, incorporated with different materials like gypsum uh, fall ceiling and uh, wool based carpet and wooden side walls are 
covered with wooden pieces. So in this case, total absorption coherence is 18.2 psi beam meter square. So in such a way you can determine total absorption coefficient of any hall or any auditorium based on the accessories and the number of uh, based on the accessories and uh, different uh, seating capacity. So now we will move on to another kind of uh, sound that is uh, ultrasonic waves. Ultrasonic sound. As I already told you, Ultrasonic sound is a another kind of uh, sound in which uh, frequency of sound is greater than 20 kilohertz. If the frequency of the sound is greater than 20 kilohertz, it is said to be ultrasonic. Okay. Now we will see how to generate ultrasonic sound. There are two methods, basically two methods. One is piezoelectric generation. Secondly, magnetostriction. So piezoelectric means uh, mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. So piezoelectric effect means mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. And uh, reverse is also possible. That is electrical energy can be converted into mechanical energy. So that is, that is the piezoelectric effect. So certain materials, certain materials are capable of uh, uh, exhibiting a yeah, piezoelectric effect. So for example, quartz. Suppose if your uh, quartz material is sandwiched between two electrical contact, contacts. It is, this is quartz. And alternating current is, alternating voltage. So, based on the frequency of the alternating current, alternating voltage, Molecules and grains in the coarse material or piezoelectric materials vibrates. Because of its vibration, they vibrate or polarize at the frequency of the external voltage. Okay. So when it polarizes at the rate of uh, external uh, alternating current, Corresponding uh, mechanical waves are generated in the ultrasonic range. Mechanical waves or ultrasonic waves. Ultrasonic sound waves are generated. 
So this is uh, one very simple way of generating ultrasonic waves by means of using based on piezoelectric concept with the help of piezoelectric materials like quartz. So alternate is, alternate is also possible. That is. of applying some mechanical force on a piezoelectric material. Mechanical force, that means applying mechanical force, one can generate current or electrical voltage. Then current flow will flow in the circuit. So based on the magnitude of the mechanical force, electricity will be produced. So reverse is possible, is also possible with the piezoelectric material by means of using piezoelectric material. So these are the two ways of uh, ultrasonic sound wave generation. One is piezoelectric method, another one is magnetostriction method. As far as uh, magnetostriction method, I will continue in the next session.